Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dan DGEM. We're taking more risky aspects of crypto and digital assets and bringing them down to bite sized pieces. So, today, what I want to talk to you about is the Avagachi platform uh, in their metaverse. And this is actually our fourth video we'll be doing. We did one, gosh, seven months ago. We did just the deep dive. Then, four months ago, we went over just uh, more of the basics uh, with founder Jesse here. And then, just a month ago, uh, we had talked about how to play the game as they launched it, how to buy, loan, and earn everything else. And Avagachi, it's a, it's a pretty interesting uh, project, pretty interesting game. And what I usually do is I just grab Jesse when I have some questions. And, and these things that have come across my desk made me just ask, what is going on? So the first thing, uh, they've integrated with Chainlink, and they, it looks like they're uh, as the Oracle. And they're, what they're doing is expanding the use of Chainlink to calculate the land which you can own right now in the Gachiverse uh, for all the different uh, land parcels and uh, especially what you wanna do as far as farming as land farming is live right now. So if you wanna take a look at those videos, the links will be in the description, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna bring Jesse on. He's gonna explain uh, exactly all the new things that are going on and uh, how you can get involved in the Gachiverse. All right, everybody, so uh, I was just taking a look at this and uh, it kind of struck me as something interesting. So of course, I don't know what's going on. I have to bring in Jesse yet again. This is like his fourth time on the show. Jesse, one of the founders of Avogadro, thanks for coming in again to show me how this all works. Yeah, absolutely. You're with, you've been with us every step of the way as we're building out the Gachiverse and uh, super yeah. glad to uh, join you here today. Yeah, so there's this new thing, this farming, everything looks like it's live. What does that mean for us as investors? How does this all work? Walk me through it as usual. Yeah, so this is kind of the core release of, you could almost think of it as like, this is the next big level up for the game because okay. when the game was envisioned, the main centerpiece was this idea of, yeah, it's a metaverse. You can run around, you can decorate it however you want. But yeah. it was also this idea that it's a game too. So it's not just this open world uh, sandbox, but it's actually like, uh, a narrative and a game that has to be played. And so in that sense, it kind of looks like Clash of Clans, like the kind of strategy game where you are placing uh, farm equipment on your land okay. and kind of maintaining it to extract these, uh, in this case, ERC-20 tokens that are, are bound to your land, your particular uh, metaverse parcel. So that's what everybody's been waiting for. We've been live for two months, but it's been more of a glorified stress test where everybody comes mm. in to play the game and we're seeing, can we support four or 5,000 people playing at the same time? Yes, we can. A uh, lot of like checking off all the milestones there as a community built game. But uh, finally, we're here at this point where we can deploy the uh, farm equipment. So these are NFTs that you craft, you, you build like a harvester okay. and then you bring it over to your land and you put it on your land Okay. And with an on-chain transaction, you actually meld these two NFTs together. And that's really the innovate. One of the innovative things here is you're kind of stacking NFTs on top of each other right. to get some sort of utility or gameplay effect out of it. And um, yeah, it's gamified on-chain transactions. And so oh. it just went live and um, it went very, very smooth. The deployment was good. A couple of UI bugs, but for the most part, it's running super smooth and uh Everybody's busy just farming in the Gachiverse right now, setting up their harvesters. Yeah, this is, well, this is just like what we do in the bear market, right? We just sit around and we say, okay, this is the time to build because when the next big thing comes around, we want to make sure that we are ready. So before we move on, everybody who's watching this video, I'm going to link all the different videos that we did from the very beginning of the deep dive in the Avagachiverse, how we took a look at uh, how you can actually buy the land and how you can actually uh, do more things as far as farming with Dr. Wagmi as he walked us all through it to where you could have uh, your own land manager, especially essentially do the things for you in the Gachiverse. So today, Jesse, walk me through how I'm actually going to do all the farming and all the things you just talked about. Yeah, that'd be great. We can hop in the Gachiverse together, take a look, see what it really is like. And um, you start by going to avagachi.com, which yeah, uh, we're looking got, at right now. I got that. Now, remember, everybody, you may not be at this point, but we, we, already, we talked about this before. You can find how to uh, buy GHST, how to get your, your ghost, how to run the whole thing and how to get in there. But right now, I'll link avagachi.com in the description. We're going to click on enter app. Mm -hmm. And now, where are we at? 
So yeah, you're in the app now. And uh, obviously the big thing in the center is the exciting part, enter the Gachiverse. But if you don't have an Avogachi, you're going to, if you were to click on that, it would inform you and say, hey, you don't have an Avogachi. Why don't you borrow one? Or you can buy one. Uh, yeah. And if you if you don't have, uh, I think the floor is 600 ghost or so. Um, it, that's $600 or, or more. So if you don't want to buy one yet, you can always uh, go to Gachi Lending on the right-hand side there. And you could borrow an Avogachi. But I think you already have your Gachis, right? You've got at least yeah. one or two. I've got one. And then I was just going to say, like, that's pretty cool. Like, what I'll probably do after this is put mine up so people can use my Gachi and do all the stuff they want to do. And it's like a revenue split. I think it is. It is. And you have an all, yeah, as a, a gachi owner, you can literally like lend these out in, you set the increment. It could be an eight hour session, a 12 hour, 24 a week. And so you can literally like uh, lend these out to strangers instantly and uh, they'll go do the work for you. And it's, you know, a 20, 80 split or a 30, 70, whatever you want to do. If they accept mm -hmm. the terms, it's all yeah. on chain. This is, what, this is what we do with our sports complex. If someone else runs it for us, and then we just sit back and go, okay, we're their owners. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Let's, so we'll do another video on that later. Let's do mm -hmm. the other stuff first. Yeah. The so that, verse. Yeah. You've got a gachi. You hop in. You see the great portal door waiting for you. Okay. Wow. You've got a good looking gachi. He's got the kind of tired <laughs> eyes. He's like oh. been up all night. <laughs> well, that's me all the time. So yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> Click the enter. Now, don't go on one of those. Those are for if you want to just start in the middle of the map, you can kind okay. of pick. But you have parcels. I think you own some land. So you yeah. have some more options here. So we got, oh, yeah, you got some cool District 1. That's good. I told well, you. I, I I told everybody, like when people were asking me, like, Rob, you going to buy any of this virtual land? I'm like, yeah. I mean, what's it? There's a, there's differences between physical and virtual. But I go, I think this is the future. So got to put my money where I'm, my mouth is. Yeah, and and unlike other metaverses, these have oil under the ground in the form of these <laughs> alchemica. So yeah. kind of the metaphor there. Perfect. Choose choose any one, maybe the top one if that's uh, still very to remember. Yeah, still very gax. That's a good name for your parcel. And then I don't think people can see this, but there's going to be a MetaMask notification, and it's going to say, "Hi, friend. Please sign this message to confirm you're human." Why do I have to do this? I'm just we curious. have been, yeah, we have been battling the bots, right? Every game, uh, especially in Web three, we have a, a very particular type of bot that wants to extract value. They want to farm just like us humans, mm -hmm. and so um, yeah, it's an ongoing battle of kind of uh, seeing if we can outpace the bots. So we we have to do something like this to ask and okay, it's almost yeah, it's like, like a captcha. Yeah, it's exactly a captcha. So I'm just gonna click on sign. All and, right, he's on his way in. All right, we're loading the screen, and your gachi will uh, appear in yeah. the gachiverse. There it is uh, on on your parcel because you chose still very gax. That's the address. Uh, every every parcel has a three word address, which is really cool. Like um, so, that's your address, and so this is your parcel. This right. is a you see it outlined with a pink square, so you know what's yours, and. Now we can get, uh, there's nothing on the parcel yet. So we'll start with the key thing. Every parcel needs to have an altar. This is kind of the heartbeat of your parcel. Okay. So go ahead to the crafting table icon. So that's this the, dealy right here? Yep. It's like okay. a big anvil. Uh, and you're going to, uh, all right. The first thing you notice is your balance. You already have uh, a thousand FUD tokens, 500 FOMO tokens, and 500 alpha tokens. The okay. fourth token, Keck, you don't have any, but for our purposes today, you, you don't need it anyway. All right. So do you see the recipe book there? That'll make it easy. We'll okay. click on that. And the very first thing you want, there's a ton of things you can craft. These are actually NFTs. Each one is an NFT you could mint, but we prefer the word craft because you're kind of, you know, yeah. putting together uh, things here. But the very top one is the alchemical altar level one. Okay, this guy. Yeah. Right here? And you'll, yeah, and you'll notice the recipe is free. Zeros all across the board. Okay. So every, everybody gets the heartbeat of their altar for free. Let's craft it. And um, okay, the first time you do it, just like any on-chain transaction, you're going to have to approve each of your new tokens. So this oh. is the first time you've interacted with these four tokens. Right. So you just approve all four one by one. And since we're on Polygon, this should only take us a matter of seconds for each 
each token to be yeah. improved. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna make a cop or uh, do a screenshot. One thing I want to make mention to everybody is that since this is built on Polygon, the transactions are super, super cheap. If this would have been just on Ethereum, this game would not work. And that's why I was excited when they told me about it. Because I said, no, I, I don't like that. But when they talk about Polygon, I'm like, okay, that makes sense. And everything is based on Polygon. So I'm going to confirm this one. And let's just fast forward this part of the video. Oh, got it. Yeah, this, this will take a minute. It's fast, but it's still crypto. It's still, <laughs> still I, Dude, it's, it's, it's faster than the most of the stuff out there. Let's just say, let's just yeah. say it. All right, so here we are. We're at the crafting table. You've got all your tokens. Let's go back to. Oh, yeah, you've you've uh, you're ready to craft. We'll just, so just hit craft. the craft button. Mm -hmm. We'll sign that transaction again. Again, estimated gas fees, a whopping point zero two matic. I think matic right now is that's probably like a penny and a half or something. So I will confirm that. Not too bad. Yeah, I no. think it's around eighty cents or whatever. So yeah, a couple yeah. pennies for this transaction. We can handle it. <laughs> it's crazy yeah crazy and so this this uh is crafting and okay it's it's complete so you can close the crafting table and now what you want to do is you want to you'll notice there's a little icon showing your inventory has increased on the backpack so you click on that backpack and there's your altar so it just lets you know you own one altar you can use it anytime you want okay so we'll, cl we'll close that and we'll go to the third button. The third button is a big hammer, and that is your build mode. So we're going to enter build mode. So go ahead and, yep. And um, nice. now you're in build mode. You have your inventory on the right side, all the yeah. NFTs you've crafted. Okay. And you're going to click on the altar and just drag. Well, I think just click. And, yeah, yeah. you can kind of place it where you want. Maybe some people in the center. You, you could, There's no rules. All right. But one, once you place it, it's an on-chain transaction, so it's going to stay there, you know, as kind of its its uh, position for for gotcha. the time being. And now that's another MetaMask thing's going to come up. It's going to be 0 0.02 Matic again. Ridiculous. Yeah. Now, now it's it's being uh, yeah, it's an on-chain transaction. It's going to settle there. You're literally binding these two NFTs together with specific data, and this part's a little nerdy, but it's worth mentioning why this is so important. So the placement of your nft onto that particular parcel is exact and it's on chain and so if in theory like we're, we see avagachi as a protocol that anyone can build on and so yeah. i think of the gachiverse is currently at a base layer and we can take that data though and build other iterations of the game or other mm. dimensions like alternate versions of the game based on that data that can't change so you you have bound these two together and theoretically somebody else could build other experiences around these land parcels in the future hint hint that uh <laughs> that leads to more more value and more just more ways to play with the land you have so Perfect. okay it looks like your altar is complete okay you have a beautiful altar there um and when we launched you could uh engage your altar every day mm -hmm. you'd go up to it and it's literally an altar you would engage with it by pushing the e button and you would pray and when you huh. would do this to the altar, it would literally, um, there's an allocation from the tokenomics uh, supply that is just for channeling or, or praying at the altar. And so okay. when you do that, free tokens would rain down on your Avagachi and, uh, every day. It's like, like your Gachi, it's yeah. your Gachi UBI. So that's nice. your passive, passive yield. Um, <laughs> UBI, perfect. Now your, your, your altar's done, but because of the bot war, uh, the DAO is cr uh, currently taking the position that they don't want uh, channeling spillover every day. Okay. So we're doing events every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern time till further notice, where we get hundreds, thousands of people together to do all our channeling and prayers at once. So it's like going to church. So our service is on uh, Saturday mornings and uh, you're able to interact with your harvester, or sorry, your altar. And, and get your your tokens so okay so jesse where's the surprise all right so the surprise is actually in your altar so that's this is why it's the heartbeat um you're going to walk up to it it turn your gachi to look at your altar and you should uh be able to press the e key and interact with the altar oh, yeah okay. Cool. okay here's so, all the this is all the details on your parcel so 
uh, we don't know how much, this is true mm -hmm. for every Gachiverse parcel. Each one has X amount of tokens inside, but has to be randomly generated along a bell curve. You'll either be extra lucky, pretty normal, or a little unlucky. So and it, it, comes in. Okay. Yeah, it takes into account the size of your parcel. So in this case, it's a humble, so it's gonna have its own bell curve. Okay. And uh, let's uh, let's survey the parcel. It's a one-time thing. Okay. You'll survey it, and this is one of our coolest features. It actually inter integrates with Chainlink. So Chainlink's got a VRF random number generator that is basically the only way today to do a truly transparent, confident on-chain randomness action. So, so that's it's cool. In, yeah, so it's engaging with the Chainlink Oracle right now and it's surveying your parcel. And it's gonna come back with basically the equivalent of four dice rolls, a dice roll for each of those uh, four tokens. And it's just gonna to tell you, okay. yeah, just to see what you get. Okay. And then we can set to farming them out from the ground. And there we go. Oh, there, there. Okay, so that was a bug. That we we just need to get it to auto update there. So everybody who is doing this at home, just make sure that it should take around two to five minutes. And if it doesn't, just X out and then come back in, and it'll have it right there. So it looks like I got a. I hit the jackpot, man. Look at this, five thousand plus of uh, of fo of FOMO, twenty seven hundred of FUD, one point four of Alpha, five forty of Kex. But I don't think that's how it works, right? I don't well, get that automatically. Uh, it, you, you own it. It's now hardwired. It's, it's under your land. And so it's under your humble parcel. You need to get in there and get some farm equipment to get it out. Okay. So how do I do that? Is, this is where the harvesters come in. So, um, just like clash of clans, there's a farming that extracts and then there's like a, uh, like a, a basin to hold it all in. So we need that as well. I think is what it's saying. So okay. we go to the recipe book. And we're gonna scroll through and find the FOMO reservoir. So, so harvester, harvester, yeah. fountain, harvester, harvester, reservoir. Yeah. So, I need a FOMO because so it's gonna be a, fo a FOMO reservoir. And I'm whoops, let me go back to. I'm gonna need a, re a reservoir and a harvester. Got it. Yeah. So let me get this FOMO reservoir, craft it. Mm-hmm. And then again, a whopping 0 0.03, Matic. We're gonna we're gonna have to get some pop-ups for nice instructions or something for the the first farming or something. This is this is good user testing here. See, that's it. You're, you're very early, sir. Sorry for all the. <laughs> <laughs> that's where all the money's made, Jesse. Come on. All right, FOMO, and we're good. So now we got to craft it. No, no, you already did. Oh, I did. It. Sorry, you, you, you're going to craft another one, which is error. Doesn't matter. Ah, okay. Well, so, we'll just... so now you know you can't you can't craft two if you don't if you don't have the uh, all already set up. So now we X out. Okay. Now we'll enter build mode. Try to try to place a, a reservoir first, I guess. Maybe that's the right order of operations. So stick the reservoir there. Let me equip right. that. Yep. Equip installation pending. That's the gas. 0 0.03 Matic. Pens, so, so when you're you're thinking about this, you got to consider the gas you spent, and are you gonna get enough FOMO tokens out of this deal to uh, to justify it? And I think I think it's a winning proposition. Well, we just took a look at, I mean, those the FOMO price, the FOMO price today, you're up almost twenty two percent, and this is July twenty first. It's not a fantastic day for for crypto twenty twenty two. It's a it's three cents. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll be okay. Let's see. All right. So now I got this guy going. Yeah. Is what else do I have to do? Anything else? Maybe we can add the harvester before the reservoir totally solidifies on chain. So got let, it. Let's see if it'll let us do that. Worst case, we gotta wait till the other one's done being built. Give it a shot. And yeah. Cool. That's so many... so yeah, what? that's great. So you're gonna have a mm -hmm. harvester and a reservoir that are uh, built and ready to use. And what they'll do is the, the harvester is going to start um, basically extracting. Oh, there they are in all their beauty. It's going to start <laughs> like extracting FOMO tokens at a certain rate. That's a level one harvester. The idea is you will come back and upgrade your harvester ever, ever so often. And um, that's going to help you extract even faster in the future until you can get through your entire allocation of tokens that 
you know, came, came across from your survey. So, gotcha. Yeah. So there's X amount under the ground and we're going to pull uh, a certain amount out every day here. Um, and sounds like a plan. Now I got to tell you, Jesse, you know, I'm not going to do this. You know that. So I know. I think I think I think you need to reach out to some of the Gachi gang members and uh, a land manager is waiting for you. They will I, come. That, that is will. the big thing. That is yeah. awesome. There so if everybody who's sitting at home, they are and we did a video on this last time. There are land managers out there within the community that take a percentage. So this is the same thing that we do with our short-term rentals on Airbnb and Verbo. We pay somebody to manage them, people move in, they get a cut, we get a cut, everybody's happy. And that's how it works. So yeah. I will put a link in the description for a couple. One is a, one of those is Dr. Wagme, I believe. Mm -hmm. Another one is a gentleman we were talking about, uh, Music City Gachi Gang. That'll be a nice little shout out because he does a lot yeah. of that stuff. He does. So, so yeah, links in the description. Jesse, anything else? There's a lot more coming. We've got, I'll leave you with some alpha of what's on, on the, the horizon. Um, right. We've got a... A new rebooted V2 of Avagachi.com coming very soon. So just be on the lookout for that. It's uh, not just the aesthetic. It comes with a lot of powerful new features, uh, fiat onboarding, uh, mm -hmm. cross chain, and uh, something called GBM bid to earn auctions will be for everybody. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, that means we're going to have the best NFT marketplace on the planet. I can Sweet. say that with a straight face. Very nice. All right. So everybody, uh, links in the description. Jesse, thanks again for schooling me and how this thing works. We appreciate it. Can't wait to go uh, farm with you in the Gatchiverse anytime. All right, everybody, let's jump back. All right, so that's it. So I want to say again, thanks, Jesse, for coming on. I really appreciate it because uh, I need a lot of help with this game. And uh, that is it for today. If you want to find those videos, of course, uh, you can take a look over at Dan Degen. All the different videos will be there and we'll also have a playlist. Also, I'm going to be putting uh, these videos into danteacherscrypto.com, which is a 100% free website. It's free. It always will be free. And I'll have them in two areas. Uh, first area will be module four and reviews. I'll probably put the, the very first video there. Then in module six, the metaverse, I'll probably put the last three that we did. So that is it for today. So if you like today's video, uh, do me a favor, it'd be great. Give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, all that great stuff. But that is it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by, learning a little bit. I appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one.